More questions tonight than answers after a metro school says two men showed up and asked for information on children. Now, they told the school they were federal agents, but were they? News 4's Rebecca Cardenas is live at Una Elementary School. Rebecca, did Metro do everything right in this case? They did. They did. They denied the men those documents as per their policy. And, and we told parents that who were here. This car line was full of parents here just two hours ago. But that's really not enough to comfort them in this situation. A lot of parents still unnerved here. Metro School says staff described the men as intimidating, told them they were entitled to documents per policy. The staff said no. And now the schools are cracking down even more so on that policy. A pickup line full of parents at Una Elementary School. Some hearing for the first time about the government officials. Metro Nashville Public Schools says showed up asking for student records last month. It worries me. Any agent that shows up at the school worries me. MNPS originally said the men were ICE agents, which ICE is denying. An MNPS spokesperson says sometime on or before September 11th, two men in official-looking uniforms with official-looking IDs showed up at Una Elementary School claiming to be government agents. The district met September 11th to reinforce this policy that states in part, confidential student records and information are not to be released. If the person requesting the information produces a document that appears to be a legal document that a principal has any question about, such as a warrant or other court order, MNPS principals are instructed to call their superiors for support and review. They're so young, even when they see a police officer, they get scared. They might even start to say they don't want to come to school anymore, like in other places where this has happened. Much less us, the parents. We're not going to want to bring them and leave them. A spokesperson for ICE says that they have no record of their agents being at this school during that time period. Tom, Tracy. Rebecca Cardenas tonight. Thank you. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement says they never visited a Nashville school. They even said it is against the policy of ICE. In a statement sent to us, the agency says ICE generally does not conduct immigration enforcement at schools and inaccurate rumors to the contrary needlessly spread fear and misinformation about the agency's enforcement practices. The ICE sensitive locations policy, which remains in effect, clearly specifies that enforcement actions at designated sensitive locations should generally be avoided. This policy includes schools. Metro schools also tell us they are glad ICE considers schools a safe zone.